Today, we're going to look at the four biggest animals ever caught on camera. Coming up first, we have the Panama Crocodile. Panama is a tiny country located in Central America. But in 2014, locals got a shock when a gigantic monster croc was caught by the Panama Canal. This was near Colon, at the north end of the canal. The large crocodile had to be harnessed with gigantic strong ropes. And as you can see, passers-by as well as army personnel are taking photos of this gigantic catch. The catch was so big, they actually had to temporarily close the highway. Next up is the bat. Right now, there's a lot of talk about bats and how dangerous they may be. That's, of course, because the current coronavirus began with bats. This was then spread to humans, infecting tens of thousands. But in 2015, the scariest bat of all was captured in the Philippines. Many headlines called this bat human-sized, but judging by the army personnel below it, it's a lot bigger than human-sized. Its wingspan is much closer to 10 humans, and this type of bat is called a giant golden-crowned flying fox bat. At first, some people thought this was the mystical chupacabra, but that's actually a myth. What's in this image is totally real and terrifying. Next up, we have the shark. Sharks are terrifying animals, especially great white sharks. But in 2012, some Mexican fishermen put on a brave face and captured the biggest ever great white shark. This is the largest which has ever been captured by man. The shark was 20,000 pounds, in weight and over 20 feet long. The fishermen were actually commercial fishermen hunting for other fish, but I assume they made quite a lot of money from this. After the fishermen caught this animal, around 24 beachgoers hauled the animal onto the ground. But it's a good thing the shark was not alive when this happened, as it could easily take out an entire village. Next up, we have the squid. One day, some fishermen in New Zealand were on the San Aspiring. This was the name of their gigantic ship. But their ship didn't look all that big when they encountered a mega squid. When people use the term sea monsters, this is what they're talking about. This catch happened in the Ross Sea, and the team actually gave this squid to scientists so they could study it in greater detail. The squid lived around 6,000 feet underwater. But after it was baited by the fishermen, it was able to be captured. 